Hello, welcome from my channel. It has been a week. I do not upload a new video after the previous the balcony view painting video. The suggestion is right up there if you want to check it. Okay, now this is my new video, which is a watercolor process speed painting like the previous one yes please don't mind me i i'm trying my best to upload my other timeless video which is digital painting but i'm not so sure yet if i have an audience and also a paper account my aim is to make tutorial kind of paintings on whether patreons or goofy now I don't have any in camps, but it is not the problem for now. So let's start with the painting step. And I will also tell you the paper and the brush I use for this painting. Let me pass through the idea of the painting. I will come back to it later. I think the median is in an important role to check before starting the painting. According to the painting median, a corpse I use watercolor paper. I don't know if it is hot press paper or something else. It is quite thin and it takes time to dry compared to red paper. So, I have to wait for the paper to dry to add another paint after the first layer painting. And there is also a wet on wet technique, but if you are not used to control the weight of the water and the mixture, it can be over wet and some tearing could happen. So, just starting with paint and light paint is much easier to try and it also helps the tone to go through step by step which brushes did I use for this painting? I used two round brushes the bigger one for overall painting and the small one for detail edges painting a good try for watercolor brush is with where I saw the mixture having sore hips. Now let's talk about step-by-step -step painting and the color palettes I choose. Of course, I drew the scaffold with a pencil. It is actually the finest scale should be gel before sorry uh, is after final sketch should be just after drawing many sketches with different composition so that the visual will seem better only if the composition is right but in painting in this painting I do not follow that rule so not only my sketch but also now my painting looks quite messy so be aware of that i mostly use green blue everywhere in this painting others are just family noir passion blue paper or car palette and by the way i really suck at color theory so i read some books related with it and I only finished 10 pages. I really want to try garage painting, especially in this one, as I never used that medium before. It's not because I don't like watercolor. Uh, of course, uh, watercolor is my favorite medium, 
and which I'm most comfortable with. Besides watercolor, digital painting is my favorite. In case of watercolor, uh, you know that watercolor is convenient and this can be reused by mixing with water even if it was dry. And also, we only need water for watercolor to mix and use. It has been a year that I'm enjoying watercolor, so it must be a reason why I'm I'm stressless in uses of watercolor. If I may go to the art shop, maybe next month, I hope that garage painting set found me. <laughs> then there will be a new playlist or garage painting process. So just wait for it. Sleeping brain. It is the title I gave for this painting. Uh, this is the painting of my study table when I was high school student. In the painting on the wall, you can see a clock, a paper lantern, and the middle is the mirror wood frame, which is covered with a yellow tissue, and beside it is a socket cut. And sand and sand tidy web paper can be seen. On the tables are light step, a basket of pens and ruler, a glass box, a red glass box, and a pen bag. And on the right on the right are a terms of paper and both particularly arranged in a couple box. As I said, these were my steps when I was high school student. I really wanted to paint, paint the table in watercolor. I don't know why. Mm, so I have to, I have to think how to make this painting look unique. Then later, I have an idea to add a sleeping brain illustration. The brain which is getting sleepy while staring. My ideas of the painting is just simple and quite funny. So this is all about the video. If you want to see the closer list of the painting, there are links to Instagram, Behance, and Art Station in the description below. I hope you like this video. See you next week. Bye.